We've set at Mirandinet and Merca and Lawrence have been in Mirandinet forever. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> 43 years. That's right, that's right. And um, the wonderful thing about it is um, that we've got 800 members in 80 countries and out of those, um, the Czech Miranda was the first group that set up in another country. So it was 1994, I think, 1995, yes. Yes, and we started off, the reason we started, Toshiba gave us 15 laptops <coughs> at a time when everybody said, what on earth would a teacher need a laptop for? And Toshiba said to us and the teachers, can you prove that teachers need laptops? And um, in the end, a big government project was set up working with teachers with laptops because of what the members said. So it's been very exciting over the years to be at the front of all these opportunities and to be thinking about what's next. And it's very typical of Lawrence to find what's next, which is Scratch and the kind of work that you've been doing, because I expect you know when I was one of the people who set up the first national curriculum for ICT and the, the companies and the government said please don't put computer programming in it because it's too complicated and teachers won't be able to keep up and companies would rather have young people who haven't been mistrained. But of course it's all changed enormously now so we're delighted that programming is, is coming in and that young people are doing much more of this kind of very exciting work. The interesting thing is that all this time, the Czechs have been doing it anyway, haven't you? <laughs> and I often, um, I often examine young people in the Czech Republic who've done this kind of project that you're doing with, with Scratch. So, um, you know, it's very interesting. I work in a lot of countries, and it's interesting how we all move from different... You know, it's very different in different countries, and I sometimes see things change massively in the, in, while I'm involved with it. So, absolutely delighted to see you all. And I'm going to hand over to Lawrence now to get you started on your presentation. Can I that? Yes. This no, you, you don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. This allows the camera to track. And the, and the we're finding these absolutely wonderful to promote the voice. Right. Uh, good morning. Uh, I would like to add my own thanks and welcome, especially to the parents who got up early this morning to bring the, uh, their children here. Well done. Um, because we're recording this for sort of posterity, um, a little bit of the background so that parents know where this is all coming from and hopefully where it's all going to. Uh, in this conference exactly a year ago, the Secretary of State, Michael Gove, disapplied the uh, programmes of study for ICT. What that means is ICT teachers no longer have to teach anything specific you, on the other hand, as students, still have to be able to use PowerPoint and Excel and so on. So somehow the teachers aren't going to be teaching you, but you've got to learn it. So there's a, a bit of a mismatch there. But what Mr Gove did say was he wanted schools to do more computer science and more computer programming. Now, I've got four lovely grandchildren, and the idea of them going into school in year seven or year eight and being faced with all the coding that uh, I know goes on um, in, in uh, university level. And the Scratch program came up, and this was a much more interesting way of um, developing uh, coding and programming skills. The format for this, then, will be for me to explain a little bit about the program here, Literacy from Scratch. You'll see a symbol on there, which is the um, symbol of the Charles University, which is a very prestigious university indeed. Uh, Mirko won't uh, uh, thank me for saying this. It's one of the best in the world, one of the most forward-looking. Uh, started in 1348, so it's very old, and um, started by Emperor Charles of something or other. Um, and uh, it's a very prestigious university, and we uh, are very privileged to be working uh, with them. Um, so that's the background to 
the link with the Czech Republic, I will flesh out a little bit about what we were trying to do in the classrooms of the year eight. Then I'm going to ask some of the students, I'm going to show two, I've only got time for two, I'm going to show two of the um, presentations, I hope, um, which uh, the students have done to give the parents some idea because of course the parents explain e uh, children explain everything to their parents don't they you know absolutely everything that's going on in school don't you um, and uh, then I'm also going to ask the teachers who are here two of the teachers if they'll just say a little bit about the the work that, the, that you know whether they enjoyed it what they feel the children got out of it uh, they have at the school www.ebi www what went well so have to think about that. Even better if we did that. So we have the problem of how do we do coding, how do we do computer science in schools. Scratch is a lovely little program which was originally designed for students to make games. And I want you to nod at this point. You did a games making in year seven with Scratch, didn't you? Right. So that was making balls go around the screen. But when I saw this, I'm an English teacher. So I said to myself, can we develop the Scratch program, the use of the Scratch program, to develop literacy, hence the title there, Literacy from Scratch. Clever little title that, isn't it? Because Scratch is also the program. Um, so we're looking at how to develop literacy from Scratch. Um, and I was invited into Bishop Ramsey School. Uh, you've got a very forward-looking head teacher. Be proud of him. And he said, yes, we could do that. I then went to see the head of ICT, Mr Peach, and he said, yes, we can work with that. And he passed me to uh, Mr. Um, uh, Sam, what's his surname? Ketter, Mr. Ketter. I know the first name is more than the second names. Uh, Mr. Ketter. And all of the department, uh, including Mr. Jacob, Mr. May, uh, set to work to develop the materials that would make it easier for the students to create stories using Scratch. I had previously done a, a project called Stories for Children using the old technologies as they now are, PowerPoint, and putting text on the screen, animations, bilingual stories, and so on. And that was very, very well received by everyone who, did, uh, who worked with it. Um, and so we then moved on to the same model, but in Scratch we have a difference because there aren't pages to turn there are backgrounds which need to be you have to tell the computer to move from one background to the other so scratch is more difficult than powerpoint isn't it not at this point um, there's a lots of things you have to tell the timings of how, how everything works and it's much more complicated but in doing so the students are not only learning the coding but they're also presenting stories in an interesting and imaginative way um, this is already uh, causing a great deal of interest because uh, we're presenting it here, launching the, the, the project here. In uh, March, I'm presenting it at the Education Show in Birmingham, so teachers from all over the country will see some of the, the folders and projects. Um, and then in the summer, in July, we hope to be off to Poland to the World Conference, and that's the work being shown at a very big uh, venue. So that's what we're hoping will happen over the next few months. We're then going to build a website which will have all the work, I can't show all of the files today, but so all of your work will go up on a website along with the work by your teachers so that other teachers in the UK and abroad can um, work, work on, the, uh, on the project. Um, how are we doing for time? Um, what I'd now like to do very briefly, if I can uh, get out of here and go to the files, we need to escape from there. And what I'm going to try and do is show two, because the parents, never, you haven't shown your parents any of this, have you? No. Have you shown your parents all the work? You, no. So can we get to, if we can run, that's one, there we are. Now, um, yeah, if we pause it for the moment, right there. Uh, right, this is Scratch. Whose is this? Do you want to come and tell us? C come up and tell us what's happening here. What are all, the, what are all these colours here? And go on, you, the floor is yours. So um, hold that and then the camera goes down. Well, you have different uh, directions that, and things that you can tell the computer to do. And you have loads of different ones so you can put things to say and show and hide. And then you have things for the characters to wait however long and you can tell them to move so you have to use the little 
directions there and then choose which ones you want from here. And then you have to put them in and then time them. And you have to think of a story at the same time. Yeah. Yes, and uh, you also change your sprites, haven't you? So you have yeah. Right, so we're going to show that now for the parents to see what we're trying to do. So this is how to tell a story. It's gone. Where's it gone? Mm. Oh, no, this is not my computer, so... Um, here it is. That's it. Thank you. Right, so here we go. And the, the little green flag, start green flag scripts, and when we press the green, we hope this will work. It deserves a round of applause. Don't you? <laughs> and the other one, if we could find it, the other one was the um, the. Yeah, I don't know where it is either. Um, when you have someone else's computer, it's very difficult to find your way round it. So it's yes, the gorgon's head. That's it. Is that coming up? Coming. Where, where is it? It's here. Yeah, yeah, we can't find that one. We will try and show you that one later. <laughs> uh, we yeah, just click on the edge. Click on the. Yeah, you, you're moving the mouse too quick. So oh, too quickly. Yeah. So we want yeah. the, we, we the Gorgon's one. head up. That one. Yeah. You can see now why we're not showing you all 186 <laughs> stories. <laughs> it's, there, but it's, it's, there, it's there, but it's not coming up. So. It's his machine, so we're hoping he'll find his way. Not right. Right, me. Small technical problem. Um, back to me then. Um, what uh, we then did was uh, we decided to say we build a website, and on the website, that everybody's uh, work will be there. So uh, don't worry about that, and other teachers will be able to look at it. Um, but we were talking. I'm trying to work out how we got in touch. I've known Merca for uh, a long, long time, um, a few years, and um, we've worked in Prague on lots of projects and. Uh, I, we've take, exchanged ideas with each other and uh, so over to you how did you become involved in this and tell us so this is uh, Dr Mirka Chernofa from the Charles University in Prague Faculty of Education and she's doing the same project nearly the same project in her school so I, uh, we can show the second example oh we've got it up oh well done okay thank you uh, this is the one that allows it to be bigger and this one I like. You have to watch the ending very carefully. I love this story too. Well done.
watch the king carefully. I think that deserves a round of applause too. So all the coding has to be mastered before the students can do that. And the two teachers, would you, uh, in about two minutes, would you like to come, just come up and say a couple of things about, sorry, we, we, yeah, just, just a few sentences about the materials, because we sent some of the materials and the stories out to America. Very quickly, two sentences. Absolutely. Um, the materials, so the first challenge that we had was that there was this is a new project for us so there was no materials available before there were no examples that we could give other than things that Lawrence had, had given us that were done in PowerPoint therefore we quickly had to build a few examples um, we had to do a lot of design work with them so we created storyboards because it's really important that they plan their stories before they get carried away with all of the idea of doing these scripts and these coding because they just get lost in it if they don't know where they're going um, the other thing that we, we had to do each the nice, nice thing about this project is each student, um, they can take the project in their own way. They can do a lot of coding or they can do little bits. Um, the program allows you to, to do it based on your ability, which is really good. So every student could get involved. But even so, there were principles, um, core principles that we had to teach to make sure everyone could get involved. Things uh, such as Lawrence has mentioned already, the fact that the backgrounds had to be changed and we had to teach how that would happen. So it was things like creating... Um, user guides and, and walkthrough guides that, um, that myself and the other teachers worked on that, that we could create just to say this is how you change your background, this is how you can get your characters to simply move, this is how we can get them to talk. And anything you'd like to add to that? How uh, about the reaction of the students to the project generally? Well I think all the children enjoyed it a lot. So it's um, pupils, beg your pardon. Yeah. All the pupils children. enjoyed it uh, uh, tremendously because uh, there was no limit to their imagination as you can see um, and any level it, it would work for most of the children. Mm -hmm. um, the only uh, drawbacks I would say is maybe time as usual. They needed a bit more time to learn the program and uh, work on the stories. I think if we had collaborated with the, with the English department maybe we could have um, sped things up a little. Mm -hmm. But however th mm -hmm. it was a good project. Right. Thank can, you. I, can I add one yes, more absolutely. thing about the engagement of students? Um, I teach w one of our, our groups of year eight. I teach um, a period two, and our period two lessons at Bishop Ramsey have a 15 minute break in the middle, slightly awkward. And um, whilst doing this project, my students asked if they could stay for that 15 minutes and work on this project because they were enjoying it so much. And I had about half the class remain behind and sacrifice their break. That was their choice, which I think shows you how engaged they are with this. Thank you very much. So over to you, Merka. And uh, Merka's uh, take on this is similar, but interestingly different. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, um, and you've got a so good morning. Uh, I am very glad that Lawrence, which, uh, with, he, with whom I collaborate for many, many years, and he visited several times Czech Republic to present his experiences and uh, international in uh, international context. So when I left uh, last year, uh, Brunel University, and he uh, told me about the methodology which he uh, developed for pupils, I decided, oh, it's a good idea, why not to join? In Czech Republic, we are a little in a different situation. We have ICT curri in curriculum as a compulsory subject, but uh, without any uh, governmental strategy to support ICT in education. So teachers are um, in a space, they can do what they want, and uh, mainly they concentrate on traditional user skills, not uh, more. But we have some schools which are very, very creative and uh, they also progr do programming. Scratch is known in Czech Republic, but uh, because uh, in the curriculum there is no idea, no, um, no, this, uh, there is no idea uh, to develop uh, programming, uh, I decided to collaborate with one school which is fantastic. It's a school which is oriented on art. Uh, and this school is attended by normal children with a lot of behavior problems and a lot of learning problems. So it's not easy to teach there. But art education and art activities joined and develop uh, these children nicely because the headmaster, he loves art. And we, when we started with computers in this school in 96, he joined us only 
uh, to think about why to implement computers in my education. It's better to, to, to do art, to, to study nature than to be uh, limited by technology. And now he and his school is one of the, the most attractive in using computers because they implement it not as a solo, as a single uh, way, they integrate it as a part of culture. So if you go to lessons of computer um, uh, computer graphics, it's not about button and uh, software. It's about work. And when it is necessary to use computers, you do it on computer. But it's about idea, art, aesthetic idea, what to do with children. So uh, Scratch I met uh, several years ago our, because I am from the department uh, which is responsible for ICT teacher education. We also teach our students. Uh, at university in Scratch, so um, sorry. Uh, so I decided to involve my ICT student teachers to this activity. It's similar like in Bernal. So my students go to the school to explain teachers what is Scratch, how to work with this, and also to teach children to to work with Scratch. But the first step which we did with primary school, Korunovacni, uh, the school which I described to you, uh, was to start with art, to develop the original story with original characters, with original uh, backgrounds, not to use uh, libraries and pictures and uh, sprites from, fr from scratch. Yeah. So the only um, thing, one thing which I would like to, um, uh, to comment, that the school is oriented on creativity in learning and in teaching. And uh, the philosophy of this school is to develop, because these children are from very problematic um, uh, um, social background also, to develop together in collaboration with parents uh, good conditions for children development. Yeah. So there is a principle that school teacher uh, school teachers perceive parents as the best ones for their children and also the parents must believe that teachers are there for their mm, children yeah so it must be common common without any doubt so uh, in our project we tried to join art art education art idea art, art skills uh, with co uh, ICT, which now we try, together with our ICT students, implement more computer science in it, because it's not enough uh, to develop only user skills to work with computer and search information and use applications, Microsoft, etc., etc. Yeah. And because the idea was a story, we also try to combine and collaborate with languages. And because we, uh, we said children, your work will be published and uh, present to uh, children from UK, please try to think about international context. So what was the main idea to present, so to design own original animated story Yes, to share with some children from UK. And motivations, what about the content? Was, for example, because we involved small children from seven years uh, to uh, 12, 13, or 13, uh, to uh, try to uh, um, try to develop story about, uh, for example, how children go walking with their pets, um, or, or to do sightseeing for foreigners, because it will be also uh, uh, showed um, uh, to children from UK, or to do some fantasy, something what is uh, mainly boys prefer to do. Uh, so in art, children designed uh, scenes, the storyboard for scenes, yeah, and also some dress, some costumes for sprites. Uh, 
Uh, then children describe the story by hand uh, as an essay, and in Scratch we everything arrange. Unfortunately, we didn't develop yet so long story as uh, Lawrence showed. We are at the beginning. Yeah, we spent a lot of time with art uh, uh, development. So this is some examples which were done in on paper at the beginning. It's from age seven and how children go with their pets walking the park. Yeah, uh, another another mm, picture. So this is uh, some costumes, some characters of sprites on paper. So the first idea was born on paper by hand because uh, Tomasz Komerska, a headmaster of this school and art teacher, he loves uh, everything to do very well. Yeah. So this is example where you can see the storyboard for scenes, yes, different scenes. There are some uh, some sprites, costumes, characters, and there is essay written about uh, what will be happen in the story. So this is uh, some story from Girl about friendship of two fairs. This is another one. So this is uh, from older uh, children, 11, she, uh, a girl, and uh, she tried to design the story about visitor from China and uh, some girl from Prague who try, uh, because the Chinese hireling uh, girl uh, bought the plan of um, Prague, she discovered that the best um, building or place, uh, place of Prague is Prague Castle. She went to the bus stop and uh, later to uh, castle. She met Czech girl, they went to coffee they spoke together, etc. So it, it was story of this of this girl. Uh, um, she planned to do it. It is another story uh, about the uh, extraterrestrial. Uh, it's a boy uh, idea. It is about snakes. So uh, what we could see, we spent a lot of time by art design, yeah. And when we went to, uh, to, to do computer application in Scratch, we could see that most children, after first steps in Scratch, they left their story and they tried to do something new. Yeah? So uh, for next year, we would like to keep children more on their story, which was uh, developed firstly in art. Then, uh, but we, 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 we must help these children. Uh, some children sometimes decide to use already uh, costumes, uh, characters from story, uh, from, s the, from the scratch and modify a little. Yes, there are also some examples. And um, so, yeah, it, it was the main uh, example. And I collaborate with several primary edu uh, school education and always we also do something with Scratch in another model of uh, applications and teaching model. So always we find some boy, only one or two boys, who after first step in Scratch don't uh, want to do what is in school. They develop their own idea. In this school we have a boy whose name is Martin and uh, he he download uh, Scratch at home and during one week he learned so much, so much. So he started to program not story, but games. And he have now a lot of games. His father is a programmer, so his motivation is to be also a programmer as his father, yeah. And now he is a new position in his classroom because he can advise his uh, schoolmates what to do and how to do. Yeah, I several times in night uh, get by email many, many applications from him and uh, we now try to connect my students with him to help him to develop more and more, yeah. So, uh, next year we would like to uh, keep the scenario uh, and to start earlier with Scratch. I thank uh, to children for uh, examples because it was very helpful for us. We used it uh, with our students to see uh, what you did and uh, it was good inspiration for, for us. Uh, the steps, uh, methodological steps which uh, we did are the similar as I could speak with Lawrence. Yeah. So 
thank you for attention and I can show you also some examples it's shorter and it's original because uh, as uh, we uh, we try we, we try to develop original stories Only to see that uh, some scenario with uh, this racket was applied. Yeah, so you can see, but it's in Czech without uh, without English. And another with snakes. Ramsey um, students have done. We've uh, brought some of them here. We would like Professor uh, Preston now to uh, uh, sort out this and give them to you. Yeah. Um, if the students could come up. We mentioned Worldly Citizens. Worldly Citizens is uh, an offshoot of um, uh, the Mirandinet uh, organisation. And the idea is to give children a voice. And so we're going to use that website and that uh, forum for and sharing what you've done, well done everybody, um, with the world and this is to say thank you because the world will be following in your footsteps, no, uh, no joke. So can Emily please, um, yeah, Emily Moore to come and say hello. We, we had, um, yeah. uh, and uh, we'd like to present her with uh, uh, worldly citizens. And the next one. Helena.
And if you want uh, photograph shoots at the end for the school website, uh, or for your home, uh, please, please feel free to. Russia, from China, and all kinds of other places if you have a look at the World East Citizens website. And um, could you bring the, the, the certificates from the cupboard? Because um, we wanted to recognize the work of Mirka and of um, Lawrence, who worked so hard and were out of there for many years. So we've actually got a certificate for them as well. Thank you. And um, we've got um, Mirka. You have your fellowship certificate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Lawrence, who's done so much. It, what happens in Randonet is you get a fellowship if you do one publication or something for other teachers that they can enjoy. You then get a senior fellowship if you put more effort into Miranda Net, <laughs> of course, which he is. And we've now needed a new category because we started in 1992 and there's people are putting in even more than two obvious efforts. So we now have the term ambassador. So we now have, and I know he wants to be ambassador of world peace. <laughs> so it, it never aims high, do you, Lawrence? <laughs> so absolutely delighted to give Thank this to Lawrence. recipients out first, we have a photograph of them. Um, Where would be the best the place to have it? Look, Theo, can you um, organise us into a photo? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, Theo's are also doing the official <laughs> photography. <laughs>
it's the difference. If you get something from this side, they start with R. Okay, yes, with R. Yeah, yeah. I would say start with English, but um, what's happened is they've been getting them, they even get just to ignore their backgrounds, just the background, yeah. and then take those, yeah. and then take those, and then they can use sprites from the computer. And, and there's voiceovers that can be done, there's sounds back there, and you know, this could go. Uh, no, no. Um, we, we didn't work as closely with our English department as we should have, really. I because I dumped it all in mean, September, and they already had their program.